and we can create one lab I can give the name as OSPF what is that one packets OSPF packets lab and we can take any two router to do this one so here if you see in the EVNG I can take this one I will give the name as R and here we can put two and here if you need the fast ethernet you can select the fast ethernet and then I will press and then we can connect and power on so let me move this here and here and we can connect and we can power on this one we can power on this one and take the console of this one and take the console of this one also so here if you see this is the R1 here we need to write no because we don't want to do all configuration and here also we need to write no and now we need to do the basic configuration meanwhile I will put the IP schema what we are going to use here so I will write here 192.168.12.0 slash 24 in between this router and we can increase the size and we can make this bold if you want to change the color you can change the color also which color you like that one you can select here and this one will come in between these two router so this side we will use 192.168.12.1 and here will be 12.2 ok and what else now we can do the basic configuration as we are doing so let me take the notepad and we can do the configuration here so in this one I can write the OSPF what is the lab name OSPF packets packets lab and here same thing as we do from long time just assigning the IP address I can give here R1 configuration enable config T host name R1 whatever name we, we want to give and then what we interface we have fast ethernet so I will assign the IP fast ethernet IP address whatever IP we plan 192.168.12.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write here no shirt and then another interface interface only we have one interface and now we will enable the OSPF so if you see here router OSPF1 and I am doing the interface method so just we will go under the interface and we will write IP OSPF1 area 0 that's all this is the R1 configuration so I can copy this R1 configuration from here to here and I can paste this in the R1 so this is the R1 let's paste inside the R1 if you see here let me paste yeah everything is good here no error nothing so now we can do for the R2 so I will copy the same configuration and we will paste in the notepad and we will modify as per our requirement so this one no need and here I can change as 2 and this one will be 2 and here will be 12.2 ok and what else here we have 192 12.2 this one and then router OSPF1 interface F0 by 0 and IP OSPF1 area 0 so this here we enable that one so everything is good okay so this is the R2 configuration any confusion here what I done just I change the IP and uh, remaining is same because we have here same interface F0 by 0 here and here both side is F0 by 0 any confusion nothing right so now I can copy this from here to here and we can paste here in the R2 and if you see we pasted and we need to take the wire sharp so how we will take wire sharp we will right click and we will capture this which interface we want to capture F0 by 0 because F0 by 0 is here actually we need to capture this before I forget to open this but anyhow we can see 
so remind me later I think here it is having some issue with the wire sharp connection is abundant so if we get this types of issue we have one solution also let me show you that one we will use putty to log in that one with the SSH we will log into this IP so what is this IP we have here 192.168.159.128 and we will log in except username and password we have already here default uh, username is root password is eve -E. okay so now we are inside if we log in like this and if we try it will work before we done that one so let's check and let's see yeah I think it is working right or you get any abundant here see nothing uh, no issue here so when you face like this issue if something is saying if Wireshark is not working what you need to do means uh, this is a troubleshooting step I will show you here you need to open the putty and check whatever IP you have in this EVNG what you get you need, you need to write this IP and put this username and password in the putty and keep like this section open and after that when you open it will work so don't close this one if you close it will not work so you need to minimize and this one we need to check this is a Wireshark we are calling Wireshark is nothing but packet analyzer who is going to analyze the packet and here you are going to get all the packets so here what I can do if I want to filter I can write OSPF and then I can press this enter so they will filter you can see only OSPF packets here so if you see hello packets as we told hello packet if you see this is the R1 192.168.12.1 so R1 is sending with the destination IP and then R2 is also sending to destination IP again R1 R2 R1 R2 they are sending each other hello packets if you want what I can do I want to show you this all from starting so let me make something here this interface I will write here shut so this interface will go down and neighborship will go and after some time we can write no shut so they will again make the neighborship they will again share the packets so we will wait if you see here just now I make the interface down for which router I done R2 I done ok or R1 I done R1 I done so which interface I have only this one interface we are using so I make this interface down when I make this interface down R2 stop sending this R1 stop because R1 interface I make down if you see this interface I make down and I am capturing the data for this interface only so now if you see here R2 is sending the uh, packets regularly R2 is sending every 10 seconds but R1 is not sending because R1 is down so now I will uh, write no shirt so they will do the same uh, package they will send like hello and all that one LSDB all the packets they will send we need to check here this is the hello I see here the packets which we discuss first they will send the hello packets so here R1 is sending the hello here R2 is sending the hello R1 R2 will send hello hello and then R1 is sharing the database DBD as we told DBD so R1 is sharing the DBD then R2 is also sharing the DBD DBD is very big packet so they can share in the two three uh, packets not in, if it is not coming in one they can send multiple packets so here R1 send R2 send again R1 send R2 send after that R1 is requesting whatever information R1 don't have he is going to request to R2 if you see here directly they are requesting here hello packets they are sending multiple multicast IP but this one the other packets they will send directly to each other R1 is say, uh, sending to R2 R2 is sending to R1 R1 is sending to R2 R2 is sending to R1 after that R1 is requesting to R2 if you see this one 192.168.12.1 .1 is nothing but R1 12.1 is a R1 12.2 is a R2 so R1 is requesting to R2 
if you see here we are getting ls means link state request so r1 is saying that one to r2 i don't have this information can you give and again they are sending the dbd if dbd packets are big they will send that one and then if you see this is the r2 r2 is updating that information to r1 ls update again r2 is also requesting whatever information is missing he is asking to r1 lsr and then r1 is again sending they are sending they are receiving they are sending and they are updating here information whatever they are updating they are updating on the multicast address if you see here multicast address and after that they are acknowledging i receive that one they are acknowledging and what is present in this packet we can check also you can click here first hello packet if we see here what is present inside that hello packet you can see this is a open shortest path first this is a packet osp of header inside the header we can check it is a version 2 so we are using osp of version 2 we are using osp of version 2 if we are using uh, ipv6 then we can say osp of version 3 now i am using ipv4 so this will be version 4 and which packet this one this is a hello packets what is the number of packet is 1 and length of the packet is 48 what is the source who is sending or who is receiving which packet a capture here this one <laughs> 192 is sending this one what is the area of this one ospf area we are using zero so they give the backbone area or 0.0.0, .0. check some any error we have no everything is okay any authentication we put any password nothing we don't use any password here and what is present in the hello packet this is header osp of header is from here to here is osp of header this one and after that you have the hello packet so in hello packet what they are sending they are sending the net mask this is a net mask that is subnet mask they are sending and they are sending the hello timer and they are sending the router priority router dead timer designated ip designated router ip backup uh, designated router id active neighbor ip this information they are sending and here if we go here also you have the multiple information they are sending that one so which one they are setting this one they put one here and they put one here capability of that one and if you see here also they have the lss data so they have lot of data but most important thing what we need to see here uh, they are sending the subnet mass and also they are sending hello timer this is the dead hello timer 10 second dead timer is 40 second and they are sending the DRIP and which uh, who is the backup designated router here they didn't give 0.0.0, .0 because still they did not find the backup designated router in this first packet maybe so if you go to any other packet they will find so you will have the IP of that one also and if you want to check the second packet click again here dbd so here same thing you will have the osp of header same information version we are using too but if you see here dbd packet which packet this is a second packet so that's why they wrote here two and dbd here and the packet length is 32 and ospf router ospf router is uh, which router is sending this router is sending r1 so r1 ip here we are using the area zero check some value is good no authentication we use and here osp of dbd description in that packet they are sending what information in the database description we are sending in the high level that information is present here we are